Hello. I'm very thankful to Filecoin for having me here and very thrilled to be here to talk about our crypto fundraising initiative. And uh, let me introduce myself shortly. I'm Evgenia Filipova. I'm Ukrainian and I'm a segment lead at Everstake, uh, the largest decentralized staking provider in the world. So I'm going to talk a bit about our company. Uh, Everstake is a responsible validator trusted by uh, more than 625,000 users worldwide. Uh, we actually um, validate in uh, networks of more than six, seven, sorry, 70 proof-of-stake blockchains, the most popular ones. Everstake was founded in 2018 uh, by the group of engineers, and uh, um, it grew up. Uh, now our team is about 120, 130 people. Uh, we run about 8,000 nodes, and uh, the total amount of assets staked uh, at every stake is more than $1 billion. Uh, our mission is not just providing a staking service, but also ensuring that we can bring Web3 closer to users uh, by building the most reliable blockchain infrastructure. And uh, we also want to be helpful for the useful for the community and our partners. So we try our best uh, in that meaning as well. Uh, Everstake is a Ukraine-based country, and um, according to Chainalysis uh, Global Crypto Adoption Index, you may be surprised, but actually Ukraine. Uh, is ranked number three in the world, and we're actually the only European country in the top five of the in, on the index. So we can say that yes, Ukraine loves crypto. Uh, so how it all started? The full-scale invasion of Ukraine uh, back uh, in February of this year deeply shocked everyone and uh, people around the world. Uh, some of the founders and well-known people in crypto industry um, started discussing how they could help the situation, uh, having the resources at hand. Among those people was our CEO at Everstake, uh, Sergei Vasilchuk. He is an engineer with 15 years experience and uh, been particularly in crypto industry since 2014. He's also closely working with the National Bank of Ukraine and uh, the Ministry of Digital Transformation of Ukraine for two initiatives, which is one of them, the Aid for Ukraine Fund, and another one is tokenization of our national currency. So how it all started? Uh, when the war began, uh, the first uh, issue we faced is that the cross-border payments were actually forbidden, banned in Ukraine due to the martial law, uh, which led to the situation that Ukrainian volunteers were not able to effectively purchase the ammunition or nomenclature needed from abroad. Uh, we came up with the solution. We used the tools built by the Solana Foundation and founded uh, Solana, uh, not Solana, sorry. We founded DAO, Ukraine.Sol DAO, using these tools. So uh, that was one step of the process. Uh, the, the next issue that we had is that we couldn't actually pay in cryptocurrency for orders because unfortunately most of the companies don't accept crypto as a way of payment up to now. So we, we needed a legal bank account. Uh, the DAO was having uh, addresses for donations in Seoul, in uh, Nier, in Tether, in Rept, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and other crypto. Uh, we also made a friendly intuitive interface so that everyone could uh, donate and uh, easily follow up on the allocation of the funds. Uh, this is uh, this issue of uh, the inability to pay for orders in crypto uh, was really difficult. But then this is where FTX came to the rescue. Uh, we had a big Zoom call with more than 10, I guess, like 14 lawyers from FTX. They were brainstorming and 
came up with this uh, solution that really worked. Uh, we were able to then convert the donated crypto funds using the FTX exchange and then directly send fiat uh, to the account in the National Bank of Ukraine, which wasn't a private account, it was a government account. So that's, that was the way for us to lift those uh, restrictions. Uh, so that step was done and then we faced another issue. Uh, there have been and there are still many in the crypto community who really wanted to help Ukraine and they would start with their own fundraising initiatives. They would publish their uh, wallet addresses and that raised some type of conf confusion in the community with the time. Um, it has become difficult for people to understand where to donate money and how to follow up on the process of fund allocation. Uh, also, it was a perfect opportunity for the scammers, of course, to step in. To avoid these problems, um, every stake joined forces with FTX and Ministry of Digital Transformation of Ukraine, and we set up a um, charity fund called Aid for Ukraine, which united all smaller initiatives under one umbrella. Right now, we can say that uh, Aid for Ukraine was a really successful case uh, successful charity organization that managed to collect more than 60 million dollars in a matter of weeks. Uh, 54 of those uh, has been spent already on crucial items for the armed forces of Ukraine, such as armor vests, uh, helmets, medical supply, military clothing and accessories, and much more. So let's try to scale up this case a bit. Uh, we can see that uh, the blockchain technology not only allowed to quickly raise funds when it was really needed, but also it allowed to make quick decisions uh, in no time. Because um, for every transaction and every um, uh, allocation of the funds within the DAO, the DAO members had to actually vote to make it happen. And in our case, we had five members in the DAO, two of those from the government, two uh, the top executives of every stake, and one more guy from Distributed Labs company, the co-founder, also Ukrainian. So uh, these guys were voting within the DAO and they were allocating the funds in, in a matter of uh, seconds and uh, minutes when it was really needed. So we can see that um, if it was, let's say, organized in a traditional way, the fundraising, it would take us months uh, to achieve the same goals that we have achieved in, uh, in a matter of days and weeks. Uh, DAO is a great way to organize fundraising in a very short space of time. It doesn't have to be a war, it can be any natural disaster, critical emergency, global catastrophe or any other type of emergency. A good team of uh, smart managers and problem solvers uh, can, uh, with or without the government help, can quickly, quickly provide the solution and decisions uh, for that, that are needed at the moment. We hope that Aid for Ukraine case uh, will serve as a precedent for future uh, of how the community can be brought together uh, for the sake of one goal, in, and provide a system where it's really needed. From the very first days of the war, Ukrainians have become one nation for whom helping military through deeds, words, donations on a daily basis became a commonplace. Uh, many people were really surprised by the fact how the crypto community got united to help Ukrainians. Uh, not only large companies donated, but also many of individuals. On behalf of Aid for Ukraine, every stake, and as Ukrainian citizen, I would like to thank everyone who supported us, who donated, collaborated, uh, promoted, and uh, participated in our initiative. I'm thankful to you for bringing closer our victory that we all aim for. And I really hope that the war will end soon. Thank you very much.